January 25th, 1957. A monster was born by the name of Eileen Wiernos. Eileen would eventually be convicted of killing six men, but we will get back to that in a moment. The development and early years of a serial killer. Eileen, from the young age of two years old, was forced to watch as her mother filed for divorce and her parents split up. Eileen's mother, Diane, after the divorce, fled and left custody of her and her brother, Keith, to Eileen's grandparents. Eileen's grandparents were very abusive alcoholics, and later she would explain in an interview that her grandfather would beat and abuse her regularly. Her rampant abuse, both physical and sexual, led her to becoming pregnant at the age of 14 years old to an abusive friend of her grandfather's. The next year, when the baby was born, it was immediately put up for adoption, since the young Eileen could not take care of it. Immediately following that, her grandmother died of liver failure, which provoked her grandfather to kick her out of the house. Eileen, now 15 and homeless, supported herself as a sex worker while she lived on the streets. After a few years of roaming around homeless and supporting herself as sex work, she started becoming involved in a differing slew of crimes. At the age of 18, she was arrested multiple times for things such as DUIs, disorderly conducts, and for firing pistols out of moving vehicles sporadically. Two years later, after her slew of crimes, she met 69-year-old Yacht Club president Louis Gratis of Jefferson County, Colorado. She had wooed the older gentleman, and within a few months, they had gotten married. Shockingly, in less than a few months, they also immediately divorced, and a restraining order was filed against Eileen after she beat Lewis with his own cane. After their divorce, Eileen committed a few other petty crimes and then returned back to sex work. With Eileen's background story in mind, I will divulge to you the disturbing string of murders that she committed. Within a period of time of a little less than 12 months, Eileen murdered seven men, all clientele of her sex work. The first victim, Richard Charles Mallory, age 51. He was killed on November 30th, 1989. He was an electronic store owner in Clearwater. He was Warnos's first victim, and he was a convicted rapist, and she claimed to have killed him in self-defense. Her second victim was David Andrew Spears. He was 47 years old, and he was a construction worker. He was declared missing as of May 19th, 1990. And the next month, his naked body was found along US Route 19 in Florida. He was shot six times by a 22 pistol. Her third victim was age 40, and on May 31st, 1990, his body was found in Pasco County. He had been shot nine times with the 20 caliber weapon. The body had been wrapped in an electric blanket and was decomposed when found. Witnesses saw Eileen Warnos in his car right before the murder had occurred. Victim number four, Peter Abraham Seams, age 65. He was a retired merchant seaman. Warnos palm prints were found all over Peter Abraham Seams' his car, and his body was never found. Her fifth victim, Troy Eugene Burris. He was 50 years old, and he was Eileen's fifth victim. On July 31st, 1990, he was reported missing. The next month, seven days later, his body was found in a wooded area along State Road 19 in Marion County. In Marion County, he had been shot twice. Her sixth victim, Charles Richard Humphreys. He was 56 years old, and he was killed on September 11, 1990. He was a retired U.S. Air Force major, and he was a former state child abuse investigator and a former chief of police. His body was found in Marion County. He was fully clothed and had been shot six times in the head and torso. Eileen Wernos' seventh victim was Walter Gino Antonio. He was age 62. He was a trucker, security guard, and a police reservist. On November 19, 1990, Antonio's naked body was found near a remote lodging road in Dixie County. He had been shot four times, and five days later, his car was found in Broward County. Eileen murdered all seven men within a period of just about 12 months. This incredibly heinous string of killings committed by Eileen shows that she is one of the most prolific serial killers. For the next section, we'll do a psychological analysis of why she might have killed these people. When we begin to deconstruct Eileen's motives, it becomes alarmingly obvious that her victim's age and appearances bear heavy similarity to her abusive grandfather. One might infer that these specific types of people with these features were picked so that Eileen could direct her anger from her grandfather 
to people of similar traits in order to process her trauma. Her sex work allowed her to pick up shady individuals that she may have been able to justify killing because she may have seen them as already morally bad people for purchasing sex workers or for purchasing hookers. Eileen clearly had a ton of pent-up murderous rage within her, and her older clients paid for looking like her grandfather with their life. Thank you so much for watching the video. I'm going to be making many more of these. If you enjoyed, please subscribe. It helps me out a ton and provokes me to make many more of these videos. Thank you so much.